Welcome back to AM Northwest. Don't let all the negativity out there bring you down. Here to share simple ways to change your outlook for the better, we welcome back the author of Maximum Performance and Productivity, motivational speaker George Carroll. Good to see you again. Hey, Helen. Good to see you, too. There's a lot of negativity out there, and that's for sure right now. Yes. So, so talk about why you think people have a hard time staying positive these days. Well, there's a few reasons, and, and the biggest one that I see is something called, called garbage in, garbage out. Mm -hmm. And basically, we have to be aware of the information that we're consuming on a daily basis because the information that we consume consistently really influences our mood. Um, I think these days people spend like five hours a day on average watching TV. And it's, oh, I beat that average. But go ahead. <laughs> and it's, it's not to say that everything... I'm the one that sets the bar up here. Yeah, oh, yeah. You're the one. Yeah, I'm the one. Uh, you're the one. <laughs> but it's not like everything on TV is negative, but right. if we can be a little bit more selective about what we watch, and you know, five hours isn't even bad if we're watching educational material or inspirational material or things that just make us laugh. Mm -hmm. But the truth is most of, of what people are watching on TV are bringing their mood down. So it's a sure. garbage in, garbage out kind of thing. And um, and it's not just TV. It's like Facebook. It's Twitter. Facebook absolutely yeah. is huge. And the algorithm is set up, and I don't know if a lot of people know this, that if you click on a video that is of a specific type of video, like you know news on a war or news on something else, Facebook is going to say, okay, this is important to you, so we're going to show you more of this. Right. And it's a lot like life. Whatever we give our attention to, consistently over the course of time, our brain is literally going to keep an eye out for more things just like it. Oh. So do you know when you get a new car, what do you tend to notice more of? All the, the cars just like mine on the road. Exactly. Yeah. And so our brain, it, it wants to help us out. So anytime we're focused consistently on something, it says, okay, this is important. Find more of this. And right. it's the same with negative information. If we're consuming negative information all the time, our brain thinks, okay, this is important. And then you go out into the world and then you filter for negative information. Right. And you say misery loves company. Misery does love company company you know and it's it's interesting because when we surround ourselves with people who are negative we tend to be more negative and conversely when we surround ourselves with people who are more positive we tend to be a lot more positive right. as well um, so it's important that we find people who can help us really up level our game a good example of this when I was young my dream was to play pro football and I grew up in a neighborhood where the kids were three and four and five years older than me so when we go out and play football I'd really have to step up my game to play at their level yeah and by the time I got into organized sports third and fourth grade I just blew it out of the water because everybody was moving so slowly oh yeah and so same thing with life even as adults we got to surround ourselves with people who are smarter than us better than us if we want to raise our game in life sure yeah. and then you talk about movement and exercise being super important if you want to stay positive yeah when we're moving and we're exercising we release endorphins and serotonin those pleasure chemicals and I think you know we kind of have a culture in a society where people aren't moving enough and exercising enough and it's a huge stress reliever too oh I believe that that makes a lot of sense and you have something called plus that you, it's a model that you use. Yeah, it's a simple acronym that I use, and the P stands for purge the negative information mm -hmm. out of our media diet. And all that means, and how somebody can really apply it to their life, is simply go on a 30-day media fast, where you don't watch any television. And ah, I know. That's not possible. I know, people are gonna freak out on me. Yeah. And so if you go 30 days, and it's just a month mm -hmm. out of your life, where you don't, you don't watch TV, you don't go on social media, you don't listen to the radio, and you just consume information that's empowering, maybe helpful for your career and uplifting, then over the course of time, you start to notice that your perception of the world, the perception of yourself changes. And I know I remember I did this in 2006, and for 30 days, no TV, no movies, no radio, no nothing. I was just reading and listening to audio programs in my car. And after 30 days, because I was really depressed at the time, just not feeling fulfilled, after 30 days, my whole outlook on the world changed. For, really? For the better. And yeah. how hard was it for you to do that? At the time, it wasn't hard because I was just I felt so down yeah. all the time and I felt so depressed and I knew I needed a big change so that was it for me and ever since then I've always been you know a big consumer of, of positive information I read books all the time L L stands for lose the negative Nancy's okay so we all have those people oh, yeah. or that person yeah. in our life that all they want to do is complain or moan or groan about what's going on right and the people that we surround ourselves with have the biggest influence in our lives you know I learned from Tony Robbins along the way is who you surround yourself with is who you become and so we got to be willing to find people in our world who can really help us up level our game so a quick story on that when I was just getting into personal development about 12 years 
years ago, I had this inspiration to become a motivational speaker. And the guys I was hanging out with at the time, we'd go out on the weekends and we'd party. You know, I was in my early 20s. And then we'd come back to my place and we'd kind of, you know, you have a few drinks and you get a little philosophical. And so we were just chatting about things. You say, I love you, man. Right, I yeah. love you, man. Yeah. And, you know, I had this inspiration to share with my friends that, hey, I'm becoming a motivational speaker. And in my mind, I... I saw them giving me high fives and supporting me and saying, right on, congratulations, but that's not what happened. <laughs> they teased me, they judged me, they laughed at me, and it hurt going to bed oh. that night. But I woke up the next morning thinking, I gotta find me some new friends. Right. And so that's when I started going to like these seminars and workshops and personal development workshops. I attended uh, Tony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within three-day event, and that changed my life dramatically. So I always, I always tell people, find communities where you can really immerse, and that leads us to the you. Unite with communities communities of positive people. You know, go to workshops, go to seminars, and find environments where people you can nurture your positivity and feel safe doing it. And set goals. And set goals. That's an important piece too. So that's the S is setting goals because we're living organisms and if we're not growing, we're dying. Right. That makes sense. And you know, one of the things that I love about Tony Robbins, how he talks about progress. He says, if you want a consistent, ongoing happiness, all you need and all you're looking for is progress. The feeling that you're progressing or expanding or moving towards something meaningful for you in your life. And so um, it makes the game a lot easier to win because so many people, they have, they have rules that say, okay, I can only feel good when this happens, a birthday, an anniversary, or a childbirth. Um, but I have so many other ways that you know, say I can feel bad. So we got to really get clear on can we give ourselves permission to feel good just for no reason at all? Absolutely. George, you have really good tips here. The book again is titled Maximum Performance and Productivity. George Carroll, thank you very much. Thanks, Ellen. Appreciate it.